All right, so with the open beta from EA and DICE for Battlefield 5 and the recent private beta release for Black Ops 4 Battle Royale, I decided, hmm, I mean, what will Firestorm look like in BFV? So if you don't know already, Battlefield 5 is going to feature its very own Battle Royale mode called Firestorm, and we really only know a few things about it. So right here in front of me, I'm looking at Battlefield's website. Um, I'll link this down in the description so you guys can read this for yourselves. But basically they just say that they're going to be dropping some information about it before um, more information is going to release closer to launch. Um, and they give a little bit of a, a list. And so basically it says wage war and a ring of fire that slowly shrinks the battlefield, which is, I mean, obvious. I mean, it's cool that it's a ring of fire. I guess that's new and original, but it, it's the same concept as any other battle royale. So, uh, this is the next Sit interesting rep. point. Potential it says fight detected. to be the last Relocation infantry squad standing out of 64 players in 16 squads. So that means that uh, the game's not going to feature solo or duo. And this is the first point that I think that they got majorly wrong um, when they decided to do a battlefield battle royale mode. They really need to realize that there are people that don't have friends that play the same games or friends in general um and some people like to play solo like myself i really enjoy playing solo battle royale that's that's my thing like if i play a battle royale game i want to be solo unless there's a, i mean obviously if i have a friend that i want to play with then i'm going to play with them but the most of the time i'm playing solo and what if there's someone out there that wants to do the same thing i'm sure there is but this is the first thing that kind of I don't know, raised my eyebrows when I was looking at this. I was like, eh. I mean, only squads? I don't know. I mean, this is going to be weird, but we're going to have to see how it plays out. So the next point says, the game-changing addition of the battlefield vehicles lets you wipe out unsuspecting squads with a tank or drive to survive with a transport vehicle. So um, when I first saw the teaser trailer for Battlefield uh, Firestorm or whatever, and it showed the Firestorm itself, I was like, hmm, it doesn't really like stretch up enough for it to have air vehicles. And this being set in World War II, it doesn't have helicopters. So that means that there's only airplanes. But, I mean, this confirms it. There's not going to be air vehicles in this mode. Um, which is kind of a leg up for Blackout in, in Black Ops 4, because there's obviously helicopters in that mode, and they work well. Safe I actually route. enjoy it Circle a lot. You're going to be seeing some of that in the gameplay in the background. Um, so obviously they don't have air vehicles, which is fine. Like it's not like PUBG doesn't have them and neither does Fortnite. They don't really need them. It's just something that Call of Duty's gonna have that Battlefield's not gonna have. Um, so the next point, it says work together as a squad to secure objectives that grant better and rarer gear. So I'm not really sure what this means um, exactly. I don't know if it'll be a conquest flag and then if you capture it for a long enough period of time, a care package will drop down and then you basically get better gear. But the thing is, is um, do you just get rewarded the gear or does it open something up for you or does it drop a care package? Because <laughs> if it drops a care package, then whoever secures it is stupid because as a squad or someone that's playing, you should be just sitting back on a hill, wait for someone to secure it, wait for the care package to drop down and you kill the people and take it. And then you're not in the middle of everything. You can just lay down and be safe. Like, I don't know if they're just going to reward the people that are inside there that capture it with the stuff that just like spawns on them but then that you can't just change out gear so i don't know how that's going to work we're going to also have to see how that works um and then it says clash on the biggest battlefield map to date so this is the thing that i researched i looked at the uh, previous largest map and it's actually bandar desert um from battlefield 3 and i think it was in battlefield 4 as well um which was actually five square kilometers and if you don't know how big that is um think of pubg's map is eight square kilometers so if battlefield's going to be making its biggest map i'm going to say around 10 square kilometers is going to be the size of the map so that's um a little bit bigger than pubg's but pubg's you have to think of is partly water and um it's actually majority of it is water around the sides so it's actually more of like a seven by seven maybe a six by seven size and so battlefield's map could be big and it could be really nice but the thing is is they have like half the player count of pubg and if their map's going to be at least the size of pubg's they're going to have a weird thing going on i don't know you know what i mean like 64 people and 
it's only 16 groups that you have to shoot at. Um, well, actually 15 if you're playing, obviously, but it's four, it's only squads and there's less players. So they're just, I don't know, they have like a weird thing going on that I'm going to have to see how it plays out. Like, I don't know, leave down in the comments what you guys think about this. I think it's going to be a flop, honestly. Um, Call of Duty's blackout mode is awesome and I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm, I got my first win. That's the gameplay that you're watching in the background and uh, I'm, I've been really enjoying it. Battlefield is by far my f preferred game for its normal multiplayer. But for a battle royale, this just doesn't sound right. Um, and then it says transform the map with destruction. Cool. I mean, yeah, Call of Duty doesn't have that, but is this really going to be anything different for a Battlefield player? Like you can blow up a wall with a piece of dynamite. I mean, I don't know. It's just whatever. Uh, Feel the battle royale brought to life with stunning battlefield graphics and audio. I mean, yeah, cool. It's just like any other battlefield. Yeah, you got cool soundscape, some bullet physics, and I mean, like, better graphics than Call of Duty. True. Matches are tied to your company and battlefield V or 5 progression. I, I don't know what that means. Um, if you just level up, basically, in the normal multiplayer from playing this, or what like i hope i really hope you don't like spawn in with guns or something you know i mean yeah it says in here that you don't but maybe if you level up enough they're gonna add in that you spawn in with like a pistol or like an assault rifle or something and then it's just gonna break the game really hope ea doesn't or dice doesn't mess this game up um or at least this mode up so then it goes into a little bit more Further detail about the battle royale zone. mode um, and it basically says, uh, from the moment you fall down from the sky till your boots hit the ground, the largest battlefield map ever created, this encircling ring of fire passes you and it basically pushes you in for all survival. That's literally a description of battle royale. Um, then it says the firestorm objectives. So this is a little bit interesting. It says there will be several types of objectives in each match. These will operate similar to those found in conquest mode, except for some will be found at fixed locations and some random. I'm assuming the random ones are care packages and the fixed ones are like flags. With varying types of these supplies, weapons, and vehicles, work with your squad to play the objectives and unlock the most valuable gear to increase your chances of being the last one standing. I honestly don't know um what these could be i mean i'm assuming it's just going to be like flags for the fixed ones and care packages for n the random locations and then if you capture the fixed locations i don't know you get a boost or some perks or something and then the random ones are just care packages so that's it they're not doing anything new with that um the largest battlefield map ever it's just talking about how you start spawn in with no weapons and you have to loot uh and the map's big <laughs> that's basically what they they say in that um and then they t go into commanding devastating vehicles and they talk about the panzer tank and then some trucks and stuff like that so basically there's tanks in battle royale so what this means is they're gonna have to um, figure out a good balance between spawning in explosive weapons and tanks and making it possible to kill a tank but then at the same time making it possible to use a tank without getting destroyed every second because there's too many rocket launchers and grenade launchers and all that and then at the same time if they spawn in too many explosives it's going to be spammy and just a bunch of explosives going off everywhere and if they spawn too little the tanks will be way too op and they're going to have to balance that and beta test this i mean a lot to get this right um and hopefully they do i mean honestly i want it to work but um I, I don't know if it will because Blackout did good. Okay, the, black, the beta is awesome. Like I, like I said, I'm really enjoying this and I think it's going to do really well. I'm hoping for Battlefield here. I'm hoping for EA and DICE that they get this one right, finally. I mean, they have been doing so many things wrong with Battlefront 2 and Battlefield five it's just it's been horrible for them so if this works it'll be awesome and i'll enjoy it i'm definitely gonna make a video on it anyway and if it's complete garbage and a flop then you know we'll we'll figure out why i'll make a video analyzing why it was so bad but um yeah i mean the the points that i don't like 
is that it's only squads um, and there's like these fixed objectives that I'm just kind of confused about. It's not really that I don't like it, but I'm just confused. And then that there's tanks and probably unbalanced explosive play and it's just, it's, it's going to be weird. Um, but other than all that, I don't know. Um, you guys leave leave some comments down below and tell me what you guys think of what they're going to do with the map, what they're going to do with the explosives, these fixed objectives, and only squads mode. Uh, they also go into how you get a pre-order bonus of getting some skin for Firestorm Ranger outfit or something, and they have a picture of it. It, it just, it's whatever. It looks like any other World War II thing with a guy with a bandana on. Like whatever pre-order bonuses don't really matter and that's all they really have so I, I don't genuinely know how this is gonna go because I had low expectations for Call of Duty and they were shot completely out of the water and I think Be it's advised. it's a Early really good battle expected. royale that I can Relocate see me, so. me playing like for a long time until a better one comes along um, I honestly like it better than PUBG and Fortnite and I, I'm probably gonna get much of flack for that but PUBG got really old because I played it a lot uh, Fortnite is still, it's good, it's just I'm not the best at it. It requires another level of skill, I think, and I definitely don't have it. So I'm just, I'm not that great at Fortnite. I still play it sometimes, but definitely um, am hoping that Battlefield gets this right and does this well. So without anything else, I'm just going to go. I'm going to let you guys finish this gameplay. At the end, it's a pretty cool win um, if you stick around and watch that. And uh, definitely subscribe, like the video if you did enjoy it. Um, it really goes a long way. Uh, each and every one of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. Um, the subscribers have been coming in slowly. And uh, all, to all you guys that are watching, it would be so awesome if we could reach a hundred subscribers that's that's like my main goal right now i'm looking at it's like can we get there can we get to a hundred i think I, I think we can but uh yeah just hit that subscribe button and like Circle the video collapse, definitely enemy. comment down get below what you guys think about this and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video net call supply drop incoming Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Net call. Major instability detected. Safe zone evac orders are in effect. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Who was that their best shot? Mission area secure. Good work.